Hi guys and gals, it's John and Emily and Jazz, Hi Jazz. <laughs> from AFK Books and Records. And we're here today to show you the amazing releases for the 2022 RSD Drops. We've got them all right here. Well, most of them, there are a few that are still coming in, but we see they're on the shelf or in boxes and coming our way. But we're gonna show those to you anyway. So it is Saturday, June 18th. We're gonna treat it like a normal record store day, which means you guys can line up whenever you want. Six o'clock, we'll hand out placeholders. Eight o'clock, you can start shopping and then hopefully we'll get you out the door. Now this RSD Drops is really just a safety net for the big RSD. So there aren't many titles here. There are only about 80 titles this time, plus all the wonderful stuff that we have in the store. Um, so it's gonna go fast. Yep. You know, the, the main RSD, I think we had close to 300 titles, maybe even a little more than that, mm -hmm. counting the, the third party stuff. So that was a lot. This will, the line, just by the nature of this and the nature of the content that's in here is gonna so be fast. much less than a third. It's gonna be super fast when we move through and the line is gonna be really small. That's our prediction anyway. The other thing is a lot of these titles, maybe there's a dozen or so that had a lot of demand, but a lot of them are the ones and twos or stuff that you guys didn't request at all that I decided to bring in anyway, just to show you. So um, hopefully we will show you some more of this stuff and you will be excited, but a lot of them are just ones or twos. Um, you can always ask us quantities. We can let you know what we've got. Um, some things we loaded up on, some things I've already reordered. There's some local folks that I didn't realize were local kind of went back and said, okay, we could use five or six more of those. So um, all that good stuff come, is coming in. So we're gonna kick it off with some things that we have at least 10 of. Several of these we have um, 35 plus of. Uh, so you'll know for these first, we'll let you know when it, when it shifts, when you should start to be a little bit concerned and you might ask us. But um, what we're listening to right now, one of my favorite songs of all time by Mr. Prince Rogers Nelson. Um, I'm gonna kick it off. Right cool. here. I'll here, be here. Here goes. Emily will be there. Uh, Prince, The Gold Experience, the first full length album to be credited to his unpronounceable symbol, released at the most public heated stage of his battle with the major label industrial complex, with the word slave written on one cheek. I could do that too. I've got a little growth coming in. Uh, Prince shined on opulent ballads, The Most Beautiful Girl in the World, and Gold in the Defiant single, I Hate You, earning it widespread critical acclaim. This press is a homage to the rare US only promo version of the album released in 1995. The two LP set is pressed on translucent gold vinyl with a bonus suite of I Hate You remixes on side D. It's so sad that I hate you. Come on, Emily, no? I'd, Cause I love okay, you. Anyway, you know who you are out there. This was a theme song. This was a theme song to my divorce. Here it is, <laughs> Prince, here it is. I, I'm coming out with it, so. Anyway, <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Next up we have Pearl Jam, Live on Two Legs, a Holy Grail live album for sure. Originally released in 1998, it documents that year's U.S. summer tour in support of the Yield album. 16 classic tracks on cl crystal clear vinyl in double LP gatefold packaging. Daughter, Even Flow, Nothing Man, Elderly Woman, Behind a Counter in a Small Town, Better Man, Black, and so many more. Incredible. We, we got a used copy of that in several years ago and it just went for a crazy amount. Pearl Jam even reposted it. Uh, next up, we've got Kali Uchis, Sin Medeo, her second studio album and first Spanish language project is here for RSD and pressed on clear vinyl. This flavor includes exclusive cover art and a poster insert. Next we have Miles Davis, What It Is, Montreal, 1983. This double LP gatefold features one of Miles' final great bands. John Scottfield on guitar, Bill, the other Bill Evans, Evans <laughs> on saxophone, flute and electric piano, Daryl Jones on bass, Al Foster on drums, and percussionist Mino Sinalu, first time on vinyl. Next up, we've got Collective Soul Discipline Breakdown, chronicling a rough time in their careers. This record, released in March 1997, landed in the top 20 and quickly earned a platinum certification. This 25th anniversary edition is pressed on translucent red vinyl and features newly remastered audio by Grammy Award-winning engineer Paul Blakemore with lacquers cut by Mr. Kevin Gray at Coherent Audio. He is a busy man. That's it's madness! Yes. Trousers. <laughs> We're deep into madness right now. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Too deep. <laughs> so deep. This EP sees the Scott Band's baggy trousers get its first outing as a 180 gram 12 inch with five additional tracks. It stayed on the British charts for 20 weeks and topped out at number three 
Cover art is the iconic Humphrey Ocean cover illustration that graced the original 7-inch single in 1980. Next up, Victor Vaughn, all caps, Vaudeville Villain. For this 2003 release, MF Doom took on yet another pseudonym, where MF Doom drew from Dr. Doom. Victor Vaughn drew from the doctor's government name, Victor Von Doom. The influence of superheroes and supervillains, however, goes much deeper than the nom de plume. The sci-fi vibe is present musically throughout. Long out of print on vinyl, Get On Down presents this landmark of MF Doom's career as a double gatefold LP. Next up, we have Go Ahead Punk, Make My Day. Any 90s punk fan will surely remember coveting a copy of this, a classic CD sampler from Nitro Records. Originally released in 1996, the album delivered early cuts from some of the biggest names in West Coast punk. Available for the first time on vinyl, this reissue features 18, nope, 10 higher nutrient tracks from A5, Gutter Mouth, Jughead's Revenge, The Vandals, and The Offspring, including the latter band's cover of Hey Joe, a long sought after fan favorite, which was previously exclusive to this compilation, pressed on orange splatter. Next up, Sweet Platinum Rare Volume 2. Capturing the four founding members of the legendary glam hard rock band, it's sourced from the personal vault of lead guitarist Andy Scott. Uh, volume 2 features rare unreleased versions of more fan favorite songs such as Fox on the Run, Action, and Lies in Your Eyes. 27 tracks in all pressed to metallic silver wax. Love the packaging on these. Sweet. 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 More sweet. <laughs> Relief. Uh, benefit for Victoria Wells. In 1992... Williams. I, it is Victoria Williams. Yes. Why did it... Why did I, who knows? Who knows? It is Victoria Williams. I've had a Williams. migraine all day, so forgive me for saying things and spelling things you, wrong. told you. It's a little mad around it's very here. very mad. Victoria Williams. Not Wells at all. <laughs> In 1992... We are not Wells. Uh, Victoria Williams was a talented singer-songwriter with a big problem, diagnosed with multiple sclerosis as she started gaining wide widespread exposure. She had no health insurance to cover her treatment costs. Within a year, an army of fans and friends, including Pearl Jam, Soul Asylum, Lou Reed, the Jayhawks, and Giant Sand, recorded favorites from her songbook for Sweet Relief. That same year, the Sweet Relief Musicians Fund was established to offer funds for any musician in need of care. For the first time, this landmark album is available on vinyl to once again remind music lovers of the need for fair, affordable medical treatment for everyone. Amen. Next up, CCR, Credence, Traveling Band, and Who'll Stop the Rain, featuring a previously unreleased live version of the all-time classic song recorded at the Royal Albert Hall in 1970. The B-side is a live version of the classic Who'll Stop the Rain, recorded in Oakland in 1970. Next, we have Wilco, Cruel nice. Country pre-release limited edition. Pitchfork weighs in, stating, On a 21-track double album recorded live in the studio, Wilco embraced a simple, buoyant approach to the hark that harkens back to Jeff Tweedy's earliest work. We've got a limited white label CD for you. And that's all the stuff that we have 10 or more of. So these, some random amount between 0 and 10. <laughs> uh, next up, we have Billy F. Gibbons, Hardware Deluxe, the Rock and Roll Hall of Famer and ZZ Top frontman, wants to take you on a desert trip for his third solo release. It features the guitar prowess and vocals that have made Billy a legend. This is a limited edition CD package in a collectible 3D tin case with expanded booklet. You can hear that tin going on right there. Next we have Engineers, Folly. The British shoegaze band were formed in 2003 and often cite Cocteau Twins, Spiritualize, and Slow Dive as direct influences. This mini album, originally released in 2004, is pressed on white vinyl and limited to just 1,000 copies. It's a UK RST import, so expect it to be ultra rare here. Uh, next up, World Party, CV Records presents, curated by RSD. What better way to celebrate Record Store Day's 15th anniversary and the first time that the RSD ambassador is global, hi Taylor, uh, than to release a completely unique World Party album curated by none other than Record Store owner Paul Epstein from Twist and Shout and featuring the best of World Party, including several rare versions of classic tracks, none of which have ever been on vinyl, uh, pressed by famed Japanese pressing plant Tokiasi in Tokyo. There you go. Ship of Fools being one of those live releases. Next is Ray Charles, Genius Loves Company. One of the most popular and commercially successful albums of Ray's illustrious career. It reached number one on the Billboard 200 and won eight Grammy Awards, including Album of the Year, eventually reaching triple platinum status. Uh, this duet, duet album features collabs with some of the biggest names in music like Nora Jones, James Taylor, B.B. King, Van Morrison, Willie Nelson, Bonnie Raitt, and more. Also notable and fitting as the final album Ray ever recorded. Rest in peace. 
The Residents, Warning on Inc. Live and Experimental Recordings, 1971 to 1972. A pre-residence years as exhumed from the band's extensive master tape archive. This double LP set features two live shows recorded in 1971 and 72, plus the complete 1 through 10 with a touch of 11, recorded in 1972 and previously only released in short excerpts. Sorry, I'm too young. I'm sorry. <laughs> Ooh, it's hard. It's hard. It's hard it's doing hard. this. It's, it's hard. It's hard. My head hurts. I'm real sleepy. The dog gets to sleep. Why don't we get right. to sleep? Look Come at on. That. Anyway, the who? It's hard. Indie retail. It's hard. <laughs> Life. It's hard. <laughs> Originally released in 1982, and the last to feature the late John Entwistle. We're celebrating its 40th anniversary with this expanded 2LP set, disc one, orange vinyl. Contains a half-speed Abbey Road remaster of the album, while disc two, yellow vinyl, continues the rest of the album with additional rare and unreleased material. It also includes a poster from the era. She's just a girl. She's a bomb. I'm just a girl. <laughs> Jerry Garcia acoustic band, Ragged But Right, released in 2010. It features 14 live recordings from Jerry and Company's fall 1987 tour, available for the first time on vinyl. This two LP set is pressed on 180G vinyl and housed in a gatefold jacket. There he is right there. Nice. I think we've got eight of those. Yeah. Well, some of these we got quite a few mm -hmm. of. This one I think we only have a couple of. Yeah. The Paul Butterfield Blues Band, the original Lost Electro Sessions, expanded. This deluxe 3LP from the 1964 to 66 era features the classic lineup working through blues classics. It is the first time this killer collection is available on vinyl and is expanded to include unreleased demo and alternate tracks recently found in the Warner Vaults. It's received the full run out groove audio file treatment as well. Nice. Next up, Warrior Soul Odds and Ends. It's chock full of rare and never been on vinyl outtakes from the alt metal NYC band, many still consider the voice of a generation on red and blue vinyl. Next up, we've got Bebop Deluxe Live in the Air Age. This brand spanking new limited 3LP white edition was cut at Abbey Road and comprises an entire concert recorded by the Glam Rockers in 97 at the Hammersmith Odeon. Next up, we've got Freddie Hubbard live at Studio 104. First ever release of the Cult Live performance recorded in 73 in Paris. The music they created during this tour is extraordinary, unlike anything Hubbard had previously recorded. The musicians are heard playing four recent Hubbard classics, Skydive, The Intrepid Fox, Povo, and First Light, in a very different style, deep and organic, retaining the quintessence of the four beautiful melodies and stretching them into long spiritual workouts with a gatefold and a cool obi. Next is Young Holt Unlimited, Lay Superfly. Former members of the Ramsey Lewis Trio in 1966, they started up the Young Holt Unlimited, establishing themselves as one of the best known instrumental groups, mixing jazz and R&B into songs that captured the essence of the late 60s and early 70s. This 1973 album captures many of the, many of the soul hits of the moment. This nine track set is a crate digger and DJ's delight with classic period packaging capturing the black exploitation film sounds and style of the time pressed on mellow yellow vinyl. They call it mellow yellow. Nicki Minaj, beam me up, Scotty. It's the highest debut female rap mixtape of all time and it's pressed on dragon fruit colored vinyl. Yes, Tasty. it's pricey, it's limited, it's worth it. Nicki Minaj. Next we have Sun Signature five-track EP debut by the life and musical partners of Elizabeth Frazier from Cocteau Twins and Damon Reese, spiritualized Echo and the Bunnymen and Lupine Howl. Next up, we got Surfboard, Keep On Trucking, a record filled with boisterous humor, deep emotion, political commentary, as well as a ramshackle punk rock spirit. Guitarist Alex Kilgore chimed in that the album is comprised of 12 songs for a new world, a call to arms to blast love, a panacea to the corporate hellscape we live in. Unlimited Blue. Next, the Kinks Waterloo Sunset EP. Whoa, the 55th anniversary. Whoa. Whoa. 55, that's a lot of anniversaries. That's more anniversaries than we normally talk about. That's why I said, whoa. Go ahead. Yeah, um, so yeah, it's the 55th anniversary release of the classic <laughs> Kinks EP with artwork from the original 1967 French release. Waterloo Sunset was ranked number 14 on Rolling Stone's 500 Greatest Songs of All Time on Yellow Wax, Mono, and Remastered. Next up, Slash featuring Miles Kennedy live at Studio 60. The double album captures a live show that includes the entire four album plus other great Slash hits. There he is. You know, Slash just Slash just doesn't change, does he? Look at that. That looks like Slash of 1980, doesn't it? Right? Yeah. yeah. Cool. 
He knows some secrets. He's doing something. Next up is Tangerine Dream, live at the Rhyme Cinema Opera. During this famous concert, which features the iconic 1975 lineup, they perform for the first time. The Ricochet album, this one-shot deluxe double LP package, includes an OB strip, double album jacket, printed inner sleeves, and a trippy color set. Trippy. Trippy. Oh, whoa. Linda Mar Martell, Color Me Country. She was the first black woman to make the country charts and to appear at the Grand Ole Opry, which helped lay the groundwork for future artists of color in the genre. Despite multiple TV appearances, a dozen appearances at the Opry, and some big hits, including Color Him Father, Before the Next Teardrop Falls, and Bad Clay Case of the Blues, this, her 1970 debut album, would also be her last. It's been remas remastered for the first time in over half a century and pressed appropriately on colored wax. Oh, we're struggling. We're, we got this. That was hard. <laughs> Next up, Fats Domino. Here comes Fats Domino. Nice. The man who Elvis described as the real king of rock and roll. Oh, Blueberry Hill. Originally released in 1963, reissued again in 1975 and not sent since, and never released on colored vinyl until now. It's on violet. Features the top 40 hit, Red Sails in the Sunset, hand numbered, and we've got some low numbers for you. What, what kind got, of number is that? That's number uh, 99. GG. Look at that. GG. GG. Next up, Daughtry, Dearly Beloved, limited run of the North Carolina Rockers' latest on teal purple deluxe hand pressed vinyl with two bonus tracks. I don't know if they stick their hand right in that hot vinyl, and I don't know what their hands Daughtry look like. Daughtry carved these grooves himself with a with a razor blade, mm -hmm. real slow. There it is. Next, Voivod, Nothing Face. The band's commercial peak and one of their many artistic peaks. It marked a move away from the Quebec metal band's thrash beginnings to a more progressive rock sound, epitomized by their fantastic cover of Pink Floyd's Astronomy Domini? <laughs> but it remains quintessential Voivod, complete with sci-fi themes and tricky tempo changes on limited pink and blue. Next up, The Virgin Prunes, Pagan Love Song. They were an Irish post-punk band formed in 77 in Dublin. We've got a clear vinyl 12-inch single, 40th anniversary edition of Pagan Love Song, replicating the original UK 12-inch plus an art card. It's been out of print since the release, so get it where it's got. Kind of creepy there, kind of creepy, punk rockers. Yep, <laughs> Irish punk, yeah. What was that? <laughs> Go ahead, yeah. <laughs> They're from Minnesota. <laughs> <laughs> We're professionals. <laughs> now it's Liverpool. <laughs> All, All over right. the map. Woo! Uh, this first, uh, sorry, it's Barry White, No Limit on Love. This first repressed since 1974, uh, one of the most distinctive soul voices of his generation and one of the best selling musicians of all time. This record is one of the first solo albums, his first solo albums, and features backing from the Love Unlimited Orchestra, an early collection of instrumental orchestral recordings and rare vocal cuts reissued here on 180 gram gold with individual hand numbering. Next up, we've got the Go Team, Proof of Youth, 15 year anniversary of the classic album, repressed for the first time since 2007. It lurches from bubblegum pop to white noise in a heartbeat. This time the band bring a gang of glorious misfits to the party, including public enemy legend Chuck D, the original double Dutch divas, Maryland's pint-sized rapper's delight club, and many more. Now reissued on limited edition bubblegum vinyl plus bonus flexi disc. Jazz is playing fittingly <laughs> for this next one. Pinup girls, <laughs> love to love. 20 pinups to get your pickup needle tickled over and over again. From the album opener, I've Got You Under My Skin, written by Cole Porter and recorded in 1953 by Peggy Lee, until Carla Thomas's version of Sam Cooke's 60s hit single, I'll Bring It On Home To You, Marilyn Monroe, Josephine Baker, Jane Russell, Lena Horne, Judy Garland, and more, and it's on Limited Blue. Next up, The Fast, The Furious, Tokyo Drift, OST. The first ever vinyl release of the action movie score features new original art, concept, and side D etching of the Drift King Scarab Beetle pressed on orange and black wax Tokyo Drift. You've got the power. 20 track collection compiling some of the most sought after soul and R&B recordings from Philadelphia's Cameo, Parkway, and Fairmount labels. Features label mainstays like Chubby Checker, The Orlans, Bunny Sigler, Evie Sands, and more, as well as seminal recordings from Jerry Jackson and Frankie Beverly. 2LP pressed on 180 gram blue. Here we go, the Royal Tenenbaums, the soundtrack to Wes Anderson's 
flick features a score composed by Mark Mothersbaugh of Devo fame and a variety of rock songs from the 60s through the 90s. Dylan, Clash, Ramones, Elliott Smith, Nick Drake, Velvet Underground, Underground, and more. This 2LP set is pressed on sky blue and olive green vinyl in a die cut sleeve and gatefold jacket. I wish we'd gotten more. We didn't get many of these, so good luck. Next is Love is All I Bring, showcases the very talented female performers of Trojan Records who can often be overlooked in the world of reggae. Featuring vocals from the likes of Millie Small, Althea and Donna, Marsha Griffith, Phyllis Dillian, and Susan Catagon, and plus productions by Sonia Puttinger on Double Orange. Uh, Big Night, original soundtrack, the breakout indie film success in 1996. It received new attention due to its star and director Stanley Tucci's new Italian food-based program on CNN, Searching for Italy. The soundtrack was also a hit with viewers with its large serving of 1950s classics from Rosemary Clooney, Keely Smith, Norfolk's own, there you go, and Louis Prima, whose persona play a major character in the film, available for the first time on vinyl on Crystal Clear LP. Next we have You Can't Sit Down, Cameo Parkway Dance Crazes, a 22 track collection containing some of the biggest dance craze hits from the Cameo Parkway label. Includes tracks by their biggest stars, Chubby Checker, Bobby Rydell, Dee Dee Sharp, Shop, T.D. Sharp, The Orlongs, The Davels, Don Covey, and The Turbans. 2LP press on 180 gram yellow vinyl with an essay by acclaimed rock and roll R&B historian John Broven, mastered from the original archive tapes. Cool. Song Confessional Volume 1, a compilation record inspired by 10 anonymous stories told by everyday people. Their stories inspired over 35 musicians to write and record the 10 original songs on this album, featuring Wild Child, Fat Tony, Check, 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 and more. We have 50 Years of TV's Greatest Hits, a compilation of all the top TV show themes of the past from shows like Miami Vice, Charlie's Angels, Sesame Street, MASH, Star Trek, Twilight Zone, many many more available on vinyl for the very first time on splatter vinyl and it looks really cool you can see right there nice next up we've got green sleeves ganja anthems a vintage crop of 10 herbalist anthems that put the green in green sleeves together for an exclusive rsd vinyl edition of the previous cd only high grade ganja anthems pressed on herb green vinyl of course Next, we have Studio One Classics, the original. Features a non-stop selection of Stone Cold Killer Classics Studio One Killers. Good job. Uh, spanning 40 years of the legendary label, this album is a celebration of the music of Studio One Records and features a who's who of Jamaican reggae, Bob Marley, The Heptones, Forrest Andy, Don Drummond, Prince Jazzbo, and more. 20th anniversary, one-off limited edition, heavyweight vinyl, special edition, purple color, double vinyl LP Ooh. pressing. Purple. I feel nice. like I repeated things, but I guess not. I got more. Soul Jazz Records presents 100% Dynamite. This is a new one-off limited edition yellow colored vinyl pressing of their seminal reggae meets funk and soul collection. 18 killer tracks that show the influence that American jazz, funk, and soul music had on Jamaican reggae. This album was Soul Jazz Records' first foray into the mighty vaults of Studio One, and many of the tracks featured come from that legendary label. Nice. Next is Jetstar Records, The Soul Sides, first ever compilation of the deep 60s soul from Jetstar, featuring previously unissued tracks from former NFL star and civil rights icon Abner Haynes, Bean and Young, and more, plus rare cuts from Bobby Patterson hitting vinyl for the first time, pressed on clear. Next up, Steve Hackett, The Tokyo Tapes. What would happen if sometimes members of Genesis, King Crimson, Asia, Yes, Frank Zappa, and Weather Report all got together to form a unique team for just one night? This, this would happen. Uh, recorded live in Tokyo in 1996 with three additional studio tracks, cut at Abbey Road on three LP white vinyl, including a cover of All Along the Watchtower. Interesting. All Along the Watchtower. Next, Field Music, Plum. Originally released in 2012, Plum was a triumphant return and firmly cemented them as one of the UK's most creative and critically acclaimed bands. It was nominated for the Mercury Music and received huge praise from the likes of Mojo, Q, Uncut, The Guardian, and more. Now, lovely reissue on clear Plum vinyl, only 900 pressed. 900? That's not a lot. That's less know. than one per store. Gee, I should buy that. Uh, the album Leaf, Past and Future Tense, three long out of print EPs from the ambient electronica band, two available for the first time on vinyl, packaged together with an EP of brand new material pressed on opaque galaxy vinyl with four album sized art cards. Cool. Next up is Night Beats, Live at Valentine. The Seattle Sight Garage Band's recently recorded live album pressed on blue and yellow, also only 900. We've got Richie 
Furre in the country, a founding member of Buffalo Springfield. This is the singer-songwriter's ninth solo album, standing apart from his collabs with groundbreaking groups like the aforementioned Buffalo Springfield and Poco. By the way, Cameron Crowe is currently narrating a documentary about Richie's influence, so he is definitely the real deal. Yeah, this isn't his first foray into uh, music. <laughs> uh, uh, next up is Ralph Stanley, The Bluegrass Town. The first press since 1968, Ralph Stanley dedicated this record to his late brother, Carter Stanley. The Stanley Brothers are a true staple for any mountain music collection. Pressed on 180 gram heavyweight grass green colored virgin vinyl with individual hand numbering. What kind of number we got there? Uh, 109. Whoa, 109. That's nice. Next up, we got Otto Kentrell and Faceless. No mistakes. Finally, the recorded studio work of Bill Yilato. Yilato. Yilatalo. As Otto Kentrell and Faceless has been assembled, featuring hard to find post punk and no wave cuts from his EPs over the years, and even delves into his four track demos. Sax, strange electronic instruments, recitative vocals, and sporadic bass guitar and drums are spread over two LPs with liner notes explaining all the eccentricity. Eccentricity. Thank you. It's been a long day. I opened. It's it's eight o'clock. Uh, next up is Tangerine Dream, Alpha Centauri. This esoteric reactive edition includes inner bags with an essay and rare photographs and has been remastered from recently discovered master tapes and cut at Abbey Road. It's a replica of the original 1971 Gabe Fold LP release and also includes a bonus 12 inch 45 RPM EP featuring Oscillator Planet Concert, which what? is his. Uh huh? What kind which, of planet? Oscillator. Oscillator? Yeah. Okay which has never been officially re-released on vinyl since it first appeared as part of the 1971 double album Ossiac Live. Cool. Also included on this EP are both sides of the classic Ultima Fuel. Ultima Fuel? Yeah, Great. a single issue in Germany in 1971. Hey, if you know, you know. If you don't know, now you do. Now you know. Now you know. Next up, okay, this is the longest one, but it's interesting because it's about Steely Dan and Emily loves Steely Dan. <laughs> Linda Hoover, I Mean to Shine. In the summer of 1970, she, then 19, entered an NYC studio to cut her first album with a couple of not yet major dudes, Walter Becker and Donald Fagan, and a few other eventual Steely Dan lackeys. While she wrote several tracks and included a band cover, that would be a cover by the band, the band, half of the album was penned by Fagan Becker, including what would become the album's title track. After creating this wonderful record, album cover photos were taken, and then it all fell apart. The release was shelved over a business disagreement, and if that wasn't heartbreaking enough, Hoover soon learned that Barbra Streisand also recorded I Mean to Shine. It hit number 11, went gold, Streisand took all the glory. Uh, Hoover continued to pursue musical opportunities in New York, but with her creative team gone and no record release to show for their collective efforts, she wound up returning to her parents' house in Florida. However, she did take a tape copy of the album home with her. It's been lovingly and professionally restored here for your listening pleasure, and it's really the first, you know, almost complete Steely Dan work, um, obviously with a different vocalist, but pretty neat. Very different than Steely Dan, but you'll dig it. Next up we have Wailing Souls, Firehouse Rock Deluxe. A touchstone LP from the beginning of reggae's post-Bob Marley era. It was released by Greensleeves in 1981 to Enduring Acclaim. The title track became Wailing Souls' most popular anthemic song. Features production by Henry Junjo Laws, backing by the Roots Radix, and mixes by Scientist. Rolled up in a sweet deluxe gatefold sleeve with a bonus 12-inch single disc of alternate extended mixes. Next up we've got Esther Marrow, Sister Woman. Hailing from our own Newport News, Virginia, the Amazing Soul Singer has played for Reagan, Bush, Clinton, the Royal Family, and the Pope. Not bad gigs if you can get them. A long overlooked gem from the Fantasy Records vaults, this 1972 album finds her incorporating socially conscious lyricism with a blend of jazz, gospel, and R&B influences backed by an all-star lineup of musicians. This is back on vinyl for the first time since its original release. This reissue features all analog mastering from the original analog tapes by the ubiquitous Kevin Gray, a coherent audio, and is pressed on 180 gram black vinyl at RTI, housed in a tip-on jacket. This is the one that I ordered a bunch more of because I didn't realize she was Newport from Newport News, and it's fantastic. So we're gonna get more of these right I feel away. Like Kevin Gray doesn't have time to do anything. That's why he's gray. He's just like he's gray. He's like working all the time. He doesn't get to sleep. It's probably his skin color at this point because he's exhausted. There's no blood left. He doesn't eat. All he does is just sit there and master the all the time. Yeah, it's Kevin Gray. It's a, yeah, describes it. 
Next up, we've got Brand New Heavies, Heavy Rhyme Experience Volume 1. A must-have for any hip-hop fan's collection. It returns to vinyl after more than a decade. The second album from the British Acid Jazz Band. It features a host of collabs long ahead of its time when it was released in 1992. The album includes airtight rhymes by the likes of Gangstar, The Far Side, Cool G Rap, Master Ace, Incorp... Uh, uh, Master Ace. Period. Incorporated all under... Nope, just kidding. All underscored by the brand new heavies, live, laid-back groove. This 30th anniversary edition is pressed on orange vinyl. Listen. <laughs> it's a really good record. We it's listen so to it. good. It is phenomenal. Just, just listen to just, it. Just listen to it. It'll blow your Don't mind. Don't let we're, we're my serious. fried brain <laughs> deter you. Bobby Hamilton Quintet, Dream Queen. Shortly after issuing the single Ecology, Bobby assembled the band and released this in 1972. The last clean copy he had, he sold to musician Jamie XX in 2020, 20, 2021 for a price princely sum. Few originals will ever surface again, its original run of 500 units having disappeared into the ether decades ago. This is your chance to hear a masterwork of deep spiritual jazz lacquered directly from its original master tape in an all analog transfer by the legendary Bernie Grunman. Bested only by Kevin Gray as the most ubiquitous <laughs> engineer. They're the only two in the entire world. They're so tired. Yeah. Just give me a break. <laughs> Next up is Hassan Ibn Ali, Retrospect in Retirement of Delay, the solo recordings. The pianist was a local Philadelphia legend who had an impact on John Coltrane, McCoy Tyner, and many others. This collection includes 21 previously unissued solo tracks recorded between 1962 and 1965 and reveals the intimate side of his story with poetic, imaginative, even breathtaking masterpieces that the world didn't know existed. And for the first time, you can hear the unique magic of the jazz legend playing standards, all wrapped up in a beautiful box. It's swank. Yeah. Uh, got a couple seven inches. Funhouse, Mike Watt, Larry Mullins. They're back with their annual tribute to the Stooges. Mullins and Watts previously played together in the most recent iteration of the Stooges. This seven inch vinyl release features their unique take on the classic tune divided into two parts. Half of the pressing comes on color vinyl with the other half on black vinyl. The two editions will be randomly mixed and shipped, so you're in for a surprise. So you don't know, you don't know what you're gonna get. Surprise. Kinda like gambling, but not, but kinda. Of. Kinda. Next up we have Sam Fender, all right, and The Kitchen. Fresh from his alternative rock award at the Brits, this is a special RSD single pressed on white, only a thousand pressed. Okay, so now we're gonna talk about some of the stuff that we don't have, but we know, again, it's all on a shelf. It's being shipped early Monday. We're arriving Monday. We'll have them this week. We can give you quantities on this stuff because we know how many we're gonna get. Kicking it off with Keith Richards' Talk Is Cheap Live, a specially created RSD exclusive double cassette release featuring Keith's debut solo album, Talk Is Cheap, and the live release from the Talk Is Cheap tour, live at the Palladium. I don't have anything to play it with. I do not have a cassette player, but I may go out and buy a car that has a cassette player. Who knows? You never know. I have got to hear Happy Live. It's one of my favorite songs <laughs> of all time. Next up, we have, we'll have Billy Bragg, Lysa Riot with Spy vs. Spy, his British folk punk debut, originally released back in 1983. It was ranked third among the albums of the year by NME, and 30 years later, it's still ranked as one of their 500 greatest albums of all time. This limited repress is going to be on four tracks. We also got super furry animals. We got one back there. She's super sleeping. Furry. Super furry. Uh, Broad Bach rings around the world. A new limited edition yellow vinyl companion LP cut from the master audio files of the original single B-sides of their most successful album, now celebrating its 20th anniversary. Next we have Supergrass. Moving. A blue vinyl EP including rarities like the film soundtrack version of East is East. An extended mix of moving and previously unreleased live version of Absolute Radio. Ah, uh, this is the one I am most excited about right here. You want to know? And we do have more than 10 of this coming in. Super, super stoked. Peter Gabriel, Live Blood, recorded in London in 2011. Live Blood is exactly what its name suggests. The live incarnation of his New Blood project, where he reworked a chunk of his back catalog with a 46-piece orchestra. Includes so, see what I did there, many great Peter Gabriel tracks and covers like his amazing take on the Magnetic Fields Book of Love and Paul Simon's Boy in the Bubble. Half speed remastered and cut to lacquers at 33 RPM across three heavyweight LPs and pressed on blood red vinyl. Live blood. Excited. Next up, Hailstorm, Back from the Dead. Pennsylvania's Lizzie Hale and Company bring you a unique die cut single in the shape of a headstone. B side is Long Live Rock. 
Pretty simple, very easy. My Morning Jacket, live from RCA Studio A. Seven tracks from the latest self-titled album, recorded solo and acoustic at the Fame Studio in Nashville by Mr. Jim James. Oh, Mr. Jim Jim. Gerard Way, Hesitant Alien, a blue vinyl reissue from the front man of My Chemical Romance. What else do you need to say? It's cool. Uh, Dio, Double Dose of Donington, 12-inch picture disc celebrating two legendary appearances at the Classic Festival, featuring Stand Up and Shout from 83 and the classic Rock and Roll Children from 87's Dream Evil Tour. Next, The Rationals. Coming out of Ann Arbor in 1964, The Rationals gave an authentic R&B twist to the new rock and roll styles of the British Invasion, influencing Seeger, Nugent, and more. By 1967, they were firmly embedded in the Detroit music scene alongside such contemporaries as Mick Five. Just kidding, I know it's NC5, don't yell at me. <laughs> and the Stooges. Their sole studio LP was self-titled and released by Crew Records in 1970. Their matured sound included touches of soul, hard rock, psychedelia, and the blues was limited reissue is newly remastered and pressed on orange and yellow splatter vinyl appropriately at third man records in detroit detroit y'all perry grip for kids about to rock he first exploded onto the scene as frontman for the pop punk band nerf herder with hits like van halen and the theme song to buffy the vampire slayer in 2005 while the band was on hiatus perry wrote a delightful batch of jingles he didn't plan on writing a children's album, but the kids just couldn't resist the joy and absurd humor in his songs. For Kids About to Rock brings together 51 of these tracks on a picture disc, including the YouTube hit, Do You Like Waffles? I Do Like Waffles. I That's like why waffles. I eat at Waffle Town every day. Next is Dead by Daylight, the second volume of songs from the cult classic multiplayer video game where you can try to survive as iconic horror genre characters such as Steve Harrington from Stranger Things. Uh, I don't know about you, but the Deadpool conversation around the AFK water cooler is things aren't looking so great for Steve. They really aren't. We're, we're, yeah, we're, we're gonna all... guess it's probably. I don't know, Steve. Hey. I don't know. Good luck, Maybe. man. So Dead by Daylight and actually this last one there, the two records that I haven't seen fill on the shelf yet, um, a lot of stuff has dropped, as you can see. This is really everything. The only other one, one that we might get in, there's a Paul McCartney, um, a limited Paul McCartney one that was added at the last minute, but I'm not sure that's going to make this drop either. Um, we've got it on order. If it fills, we'll have it. If it doesn't, we won't. Um, so that's what we've got. That's all of the RSD drop stuff. We went down the site, yep. printed all these out. So that's what we've got. Again, give us a call. Let us know uh, what you're interested in. We can let you know the quantities we've got. Again, we can't hold anything for you. It's all no first way. come, first serve. Um, one per customer for all of this stuff. Uh, we don't sell any of it online until the following day. And I think this is going to be light enough. I'm not sure we're going to be selling any of this stuff online this time. Yeah. So for the folks that are watching us elsewhere, I'm sorry. But I think we got an enough for what we need. But maybe you'll see some stuff up on Discogs later later in the week. You never know. Um, but I think we're, think we're going to be in good shape. We're excited to see you guys again. It should be fast. The line's going to be small. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to get you in, get you out, so you can come back and browse. And we might have some cool deals, too, yeah. for a record store day. You never know. Maybe a really good deal. <laughs> see you guys soon. Thanks so much. Bye. Bye. Des, you going to say goodbye? Uh, we going to get a tail wag for the people? Where's the tail wag? Let's stand up. Yeah. There we go. Jazz says, see you soon. See you next week. See you Saturday. Bye, guys.